Hello there. So we've just finished um, sewing all the pieces together. So I've got all of these sewn. I usually like to do that first before I do anything else. And I just thought I'd show you how narrow the seam was on these. So it is quite small when you are sewing um, some soft toys together with felt uh, using the Simone Goodings uh, May Blossom patterns. And I want to show you also, I've used a very, very small um, stitch as well around to just using um, cotton thread and um, that is going to make a huge difference back stitching as well here and here because this is going to be where I turn it out the right way so I just wanted to show you um, one of the main reasons why it's important using cotton thread and um, wool felt when it comes to making soft toys because it makes a huge difference so we're going to turn this out now so as you can see, these small bits, you need to really massage the ends out and almost use a lot, like a medium force, but not like too heavy. And because we've used wool felt, the seams aren't going to bust. So all of that hard work of cutting and sewing makes a huge difference when it comes to turning out pieces this size um, so as you can see when you do it oh, here we go as you can see when we do it it the seams have started to bust here but because I've done the back stitch it won't go any further so yeah so what I also like to do which you've probably already seen I like to massage the two seams together so they so they come out so it's a nice shape this bit could be massaged a bit better so yeah, there we have it, a little body of Thistletown um, rabbits making for the chinchilla show next week. I'm going to pop him in. So yeah, there we have it, his little body already out. So I'm going to turn the rest of the pieces now and finish putting him together. Bye for now.